The planet J1407b is thought to have the biggest ring system of any planet in the universe. Its rings supposedly stretch 40,000 times wider than Saturn's and reach almost 120 million kilometers out. But it's actually not what most people think. For those of you who don't know, Space Engine is a one-to-one -one scale replica of our entire universe. It has pretty much every single known object in the game. And you are able to see J1407b in its full glory, and it truly does deserve all of its nicknames. Lord of the Rings, Saturn on steroids, and Super Saturn. I actually made a video on my channel where I show off this planet and talk about it more in Space Engine. So if you wanna see that, click the, the I card somewhere if you wanna learn more. But what you might not know is Space Engine actually recently removed it from the game, leading many, myself included, to wonder why and what happened. Trust me, I was just as surprised as you're about to be when I heard this news. J1407b isn't real. Let me explain. This hypothetical planet actually has a pretty long history. In 2007, astronomers first observed it through the Super Wide Angle Search for Planets or Super Wasp program. And a few years later in 2010, Mark Picot and Eric Mamajek, sorry if I pronounced that wrong, they observed J1407b eclipsing or passing in front of the star V1400 Centauri. Additionally, they believed it had the ring system it's so famous for because as it passed in front of the star, the star dimmed for a long time, days, 57 days, I think. And that led them to the conclusion that there must be some kind of ring system around this planet. This all led to the assumption that J1407b was an exoplanet or maybe a brown dwarf due to its size with a massive ring system orbiting V1400 Centauri. This original observation is what the model in Space Engine was based off of. However, newer studies into this planet may have some very interesting observations. J1407b has not shown any more eclipses with its star. They observed J1407b when they thought it would eclipse the star due to its orbital length, and it was nowhere to be seen. Leading to the theory that J1407b actually isn't a planet orbiting V1400 Centauri, but actually a rogue body that just happened to eclipse in front of it. Also, the massive ring system that was hypothesized, the ring system that's 40,000 times bigger than Saturn, would actually not be possible if it were orbiting the star. The rings would become unstable over time. I pulled up kind of a simplified simulation of the original hypothesis here. You can see the rings, they're not as many as there would be, but we can see over time that the rings are actually gonna kind of get deformed due to the combined gravity of the star and the planet. Like the star's gravity is pulling on the rings also. So we look closely, you can see it's not even a flat disc anymore as they kind of swirl around. And over time, it will get more and more deformed. I'm gonna let this run while we continue and we'll check back on it in a minute. So the most likely hypothesis for what this is that they observed is actually J1407b isn't a planet at all. It's a brown dwarf, which is kind of between a planet and a star that just happened to eclipse or fly in front of the star V1400 Centauri. At first, this seemed unlikely because the chance that two objects like this were really close like that seemed extremely low. So it totally makes sense how originally astronomers thought it was orbiting V1400 Centauri when in fact, it just happened to fly in front of it. This is why having multiple observations of objects is very important. In 2017, the Atacama Large Millimeter Array, or ALMA, revealed an object near the star V1400 Centauri that they thought could be J1407b. This is unconfirmed as I'm making this video. And to further the evidence, the placement of the object they observed was consistent with what would be expected if J1407b was its own rogue system and not orbiting V1400 Centauri. Alma also revealed that the rings they observed are not actually rings at all, but rather a protoplanetary disk filled with dust and gas that's orbiting the brown dwarf. That is how planets and moons form. This dust and gas that's orbiting a star collects together over time and creates planets. Theoretically though, there actually might not even be a protoplanetary disk. It could just be a galaxy that they observed behind it that kind of looked like there would be a ring. Just recently in June or July, Alma took another look at J1407b. They have yet to publish the findings, but after they do, we should definitively know whether or not the object they observed was J1407b and if it has a protoplanetary ring or not. One thing is certain though, J1407b is not a planet and it doesn't have that giant ring system that it is known for and made it famous. The YouTube channel Kai Planet has made an excellent video talking more about this if you're interested and he goes into detail about why people still believe it and the other misinformation that's being spread by NASA and other sources about other exoplanets. I've linked that video in the description if you're interested. 
Honestly, it all makes me kind of sad. Whenever I've asked you guys what your favorite planet was, I always get J1407b as a top response, and that totally makes sense. I mean, the thought of a planet out there that looks like this, with rings 40,000 times the size of Saturn, of course everyone's gonna wanna believe that. That's just the coolest idea ever. And a simulator that strives to be 100% accurate like Space Engine included it in their game, which led many, myself included, to believe that this planet was out there. Also, interestingly, NASA's official exoplanet website still lists J1407b as a planet and has not up updated it at all, which is probably not helping with this misinformation we're seeing. If you do want to see J1407B in Space Engine, the Space Engine team did release a file after they removed it, so if you want it back in the game, you can get it. I'll also link that in the description if you're interested. The idea of the planet is just so cool, and I think that's kind of where this myth of J1407B came from. Countless videos and articles have been made about it. Many of them claim it's real without doing the proper research. It was proven a few years ago that J1407B isn't a planet, but there are even recent videos and articles from just a few months ago that are still talking about it as it's a planet. Now, I wish just as much as all of you that this crazy planet was real, but the reason I love science is because our understanding is always changing and we're always striving to know 100% of the truth. And that's why our hypotheses and other observations can change over time and the way we look at the world. And I think it's very important that we always try to have the most up-to-date information so we can really know what's out there. We can see it's been going for a few minutes and the rings are completely not on that flat disk that you would expect from rings. If you were to turn up the mass of this, because this is only 10 Jupiters right now, this is on the low end of the estimation, but the high end, it said that it's about 40 times the mass of Jupiter. And if we do that, you can see it definitely becomes a brown dwarf, like a mini star slash planet kind of thing. So yeah, it's way more likely that it is a brown dwarf and not a planet. And yeah, this ring system is not stable at all. I think what we need to take away from this is that something may be really cool and interesting and you're just immediately like that's so cool I can't believe that's out there but we really need to do our research not just in exoplanet related discussions but really anything just because one article or video says something's real or that it's out there doesn't mean it's true I'm guilty of this too it has been known that J1407b hasn't been a planet for a few years now and I've made videos more recent than that claiming it was real I really should have done my research and I apologize I've linked a few of the scientific papers I looked into while researching in the description if you're interested and learning more about this. I made this video because I think it's really important to have the correct information, especially when we're talking about something super scientifically grounded like exoplanets. I'm also counting on you guys to help stop the misinformation spread with this. So just make sure you're informed and maybe we can make a difference. Maybe someday we will find a planet similar that has a giant ring system that can be our new Lord of the Rings. But for now, I guess we're stuck with Saturn, which is actually real, 100% guarantee it. Thank you all for watching. And let me know what you guys think about this in the comments. Goodbye to J1407B and goodbye to all of you. I actually reached out to the Space Engine team and asked them to make a comment on this, and I got a response saying, there is mounting evidence that its discovery was a false positive, mainly because it has not been detected against since its original finding back in 2007. Something that big of a magnitude, but both in size and rapid change in brightness, should be detectable again after 15 plus years, but it seems it hasn't been. So for the time being, it has been removed. However, we've understood it has upset some users, so we released the catalog entry as a separate dot pack for users to mod back in if they want. Once again, that will be in the description if you're interested in that. Thank you to Jonathan from the Space Engine team for sending this over to me.